Hello everyone. We will show you in this video, how to enable two-factor authentication without the QR code. Nowadays, the use of two-factor authentication is highly recommended. To ensure that you are the only one with access to your personal account, we encourage you to activate this feature, if you haven't done so already. Now, we show you solutions for situations where two-factor authentication cannot be enabled with a QR code. Such reasons are for example. You only have a desktop computer without a mobile phone. You only have a notebook without a mobile phone. You only have a Mac computer without a mobile phone. You have an old mobile phone without a camera. You only have one mobile device on which you use our service. If you don't have a device that can scan the QR code, you can use an application, such as a password manager application, which also handles two-factor authentication. First, we show you one way to do this. How to activate two-factor authentication using a password manager. Open the website. Sign into your account. Enter your username. Enter your password. Click the sign in button. Select my account. Click the enable button. Below the QR code, you can see the secret key. Select these 32 characters. Then copy it onto the clipboard. Afterwards, open the password manager application. Here you can see the login name saved for the site. And here is the saved password for this user. Let's edit this card. For the two-factor authentication to work, a field must be added. Select one-time password. Paste the secret key you copied to the clipboard earlier. Use the Ctrl plus V keyboard shortcut. Click OK. Once the field has been successfully added, it should be saved using the Save and Close button. From now on, the generated codes will always be available here. Click on the code to copy it to the clipboard. Now, switch back to your browser to paste this code. In the code field, paste the code from the clipboard. Click the enable button. Here is your unlock code. Be sure to keep it in a safe place. In case of device loss or failure, this code can be used to disable two-factor authentication. Click OK. As you can see, two-factor authentication is now active. Now, let's take a look at the mobile device. How to activate two-factor authentication using Microsoft Authenticator. Start your browser. Open the website. Sign in to your account. Enter your username and password. Click the sign in button. Select my account. Scroll down a bit. To activate two-factor authentication, click the Enable button. Below the QR code, you can see the secret key. Select these 32 characters. To copy it to the clipboard, click the Copy button. Launch the Microsoft Authenticator application. Open the menu. 
Select the Add Account item. Select the Other Account option. At the bottom of the screen you will see Enter Code Manually. Click on it. Enter your email address. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the secret key, select Paste. Then click the Finish button. Click on the newly created item. To copy the code to the clipboard, click on the code. Now, switch back to the browser. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the code, click Paste. Click the Enable button. Here is your unlock code. Be sure to keep it in a safe place. In case of device loss or failure, this code can be used to disable two-factor authentication. Click OK. As you can see, two-factor authentication is now active. How to activate two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator. Start your browser. Open the website. Enter your username and password. Click the sign in button. Select my account. Scroll down a bit. To activate two-factor authentication, click the Enable button. Below the QR code, you can see the secret key. Select these 32 characters. To copy it to the clipboard, click the Copy button. Launch the Google Authenticator application. To add a new entry, click the plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Here you can choose how to add it. Select the Enter a Setup Key option. Enter your email address. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the secret key, select Paste. Click the Add button. Click on the newly created item. To copy the code to the clipboard, click on the code. Now, switch back to your browser to paste this code. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the code, Click Paste. Click the Enable button. Here is your unlock code. Be sure to keep it in a safe place. In case of device loss or failure, this code can be used to disable two-factor authentication. Click OK. As you can see, two-factor authentication is now active. How to activate two-factor authentication using FreeOTP. Start your browser. Open the website. Enter your username and password. Click the sign in button.
Select my account. Scroll down a bit. To activate two-factor authentication, click the Enable button. Below the QR code, you can see the secret key. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To copy it to the clipboard, click the Copy button. Launch the free OTP application. From the icons at the top of the screen, click on the key icon. Enter your email address. Enter a name for this item. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the secret key, select Paste. Click the Add button. To copy the code to the clipboard, click on the code. Now, switch back to your browser to paste this code. Press and hold to bring up the menu. To paste the code, click Paste. Click the Enable button. Here is your unlock code. Be sure to keep it in a safe place. In case of device loss or failure, this code can be used to disable two-factor authentication. Click OK. As you can see, two-factor authentication is now active. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.